Before we start this video, there's obviously a lot of things going on about police brutality and racial inequality at large. And I am definitely not the person who should be heard right now, but I will say this. It's a great time to read books and educate yourself about the topic. It's also a great time to support local and independent businesses. But I also know that it's a really difficult time economically for a lot of people. So I contacted a bookstore called Mahogany Books. Their entire inventory is books written by, for, or about people of the African diaspora. So if you go to their website and you find a book that you'd like to read, but you can't afford it, I will buy it for you and I will pay for it in full and then Mahogany Books will send it directly to you. So that way you can learn, you can support an independent business, but not have to worry about money. And if you're interested, there's a link in the description. Okay, on to the regular video. Hi. So there's a pretty obvious pattern to the projects I've been doing recently. It's just combining two different things. Matches, coffee table. Paper shredder, brain. Tesla, pickup truck. And today we're taking lamps and scissors and forcing them together, consensually, consensually forcing them. Initially I was thinking like, what if the handles were light bulbs? Or what if the scissors were just wall mounted and it was backlit? But then I realized, ooh, I already have a giant version of that. Pass me beat current me to it. Makes absolutely no sense. So what I settled on was this, and here's my prototype. In here, there would be LED strips. So to turn on the lights, you just open them, and then to turn them off, you close them, so you can literally cut the lights. This is just thick paper that I laser cut, and I got this sheet metal, and I just need to transfer this design onto this, and then grind and weld and line. <laughs> like an hour to do one, whatever. Fuck you. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting disproportionately frustrated with this, but it's kind of like trying to ride a horse that's just trying to throw you off and also shoots burning shards of metal in your no! face. Mm. Okay, let's home stretch. I got them. I'm sorry that I got a little bit angry there. Uh, no jigsaws were harmed in the production of this video. Essentially, just two pairs of scissors. It's a scissor sandwich, which sounds like something very advanced and sexual, but it's not. It's just this. Yeah, it's essentially just two pairs of scissors, and one is outboard of the other. Does that make any sense? The really tricky part of this is going to be welding all of it together. I don't know. I just don't want any slop in my scissor sandwich. <laughs> Why does everything sound so sexual? <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> it looks like Edward Scissorhands was actually a pair of scissors. Don't judge me for my welds. I'm just trying to keep it together. Mm-hmm. 
pretty sharp for a pair of very unsharp scissors. So I got this old lamp base that I'm gonna use. I'm a little bit worried about it not being strong enough to hold up the weight of the scissors, but there's only one way to find out. Also, they're surprisingly light. They're like the weight of maybe like a pregnant hamster. Okay, let's see if that's strong enough. I give myself an F. F as in flaccid. This might be so stupid that it actually works. What if I just shove some wire into these joints and use that to like reinforce them? Damn it. I just need more friction. So if I like 3D print some hinges to go inside of each joint, maybe? It actually feels pretty sturdy. I, I think it might actually work. Okay, this is just not gonna work. It's gonna be a limp, sloppy scissor sandwich no matter how hard I try to mount it. I'm proudly giving up and I'm just gonna buy a new lamp. This video is sponsored by KiwiCo. They make these really fun hands-on steam crates for kids of all ages. And this month I'm making the stereo headphones. So one of the really frustrating things about building stuff is that you don't really know if it's gonna work out or if you're just like building your way down a dead end. I mean, I spent three days working on this lamp base and all I have to show for it is this trophy of, well, you tried. And as much as KiwiCo crates can also be challenging, you also know that it's gonna work out and that you're gonna get something really fun at the end of it. There's a new project every month and they're educational and they have everything you need in them and you can get your first crate for free by going to the URL kiwico.com slash Simone. There's a link in the description. Thanks KiwiCo. New lamp, who this? feels like preparing your tax returns because no matter how much time I spend on it, I always feel like I'm doing something wrong and that it's gonna have really bad consequences if I screw up. Fingers crossed, no smoke, only light. Why? Every time. Can't I just have something work for the first time once? I promise this is not like a shtick I do. It just genuinely never fucking works. Oh, okay. Cut. I need some loan time, okay? So why does it never, I just don't, I, oh, why are you talking to yourself? I'm talking to myself, I'm totally talking. Oh, wow, there's a cable that's unplugged. Motherfucker. When you say motherfuckers, do people just mean dads? Dads are fucking great. I love dads. Show me a man with a stroller and I wanna have his babies. Not like the current baby, but like the next baby. I found a loose wire and I think it should work now. of brightness. Oh my god, I am so happy with how this project came together. I mean, you can definitely see a lot of imperfections in my welds, but since I'm the one making up what scissor lamps should look like, I can just decide that they're meant to be that way.
I think this is the most like shelf ready project I've ever made. Yeah, I would buy it. Actually, I think I have like, I saw like a dollar bill here. I can just buy it off of myself. Thanks me. You're doing great. Thank you so much for watching this video. I don't think I ever ask you to like, like videos because I'm a bad YouTuber, but if you do, I really appreciate it. But most of all, I really appreciate you. You're the best. You make me laugh pretty much every day and I really appreciate that. I'm still just talking to myself. You ready to cut the lights? Okay, bye.